All right, welcome back, guys. It is KCOG and Kron. We are very mad because our video didn't save. So we did all this work for nothing, and we were doing really good and killed a lot of people, and here we are. Um, we're just going to go and run and kill the Sage boss. We're at the Crucifixion Woods bonfire, that second one that we just got. I'm pretty sure that video saved. I haven't gone and checked. I probably should, but oh well. Anyways, it's just right here through here. This area is pretty hidden. And just like Kron was trying to say before, if you kill this guy before he summons everyone, these guys won't actually um, attack. See how they're just kind of sitting on the walls? So you can just take your time and kind of fuck them up as you go. Or not. You don't, you don't have to do anything. So we did die from a PvP player. He was <laughs> really good. He was really good. It was the first really good player I've, we've met. And... Uh, He's kind of fucking me up, and then he um, he parried me and uh, like one shot me. So that was interesting. Uh, yeah. Uh, did I leave anything else, Kron? No, nope. I think you covered it. And I died right here. Yes. So we weren't that far, but still, still a little bit of time. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna pop the dr oh shit. I'm gonna pop the little dried fingers here because um. Does that thing one-shot him? No, almost. Okay, we're going to have to R2 it. But I don't know if you can have two people. But there is a guy, if you talk to... Yeah, okay, so you can actually summon Aegon of Kareem here, which is really helpful with this boss fight because he'll kind of distract or he'll kind of, you know, do his own thing. we got a pike. That's pretty cool. Um, are we missing anything else? We popped the dried finger, so we don't really have a lot of time because i got to go soon. Um, we're going to just kill this boss and be on our way. But here's uh, Aegon of Cream, and here is the Sage boss. Crystal Sage is his name, I think. Anyways, if you Correct. can kind of meet him really quick, he will take massive damage and... Oh, okay, or not. I should have charged up. Uh, right. A good thing to do is wait for your companions and unleash a coordinated attack. That is very true. <laughs> and my bad. But Aegon's gonna be a dick and do that shit. Yeah. Maybe we shouldn't have summoned him. But if you're alone, it is a really good idea to summon him if you, you know, are having trouble on him. Here we go. So wait for it. Three, two, one, and go. And you can stun him to make him stay there longer. So like just like that, we did a great job. Oh. By the way, um, part of the reason we had troubles on Three, this two, uh, one, go. video is, um, oh yeah, so once you get him down to uh, half health right now, he's going to start summoning all these people right here. And you want to attack the guy who's so doing purple. So it's that guy's blue and that guy's purple. That guy is just going to go away like so. And the guy in the corner, uh, which he's magically gone. Uh, what happened? It is okay, a good idea, in the corner, however, right? to uh, thin out the crowd. That it is. It is a good idea. Uh, as they all do Oof. damage. Oh man, okay, we're doing great. But yes, they do ridiculous damage, and if you're having trouble getting to him pretty quick, and it's this guy, I knew it was going to be that guy. <laughs> it's usually the guy who's farthest away from you, so keep that in mind as well. It, in this game, in Dark Souls 3, it's usually the guy who's way furthest away. But um... Yeah, so that's the Crystal Sage. Um, it was kind of easy with my buddy here helping, but it could be uh, it could be worse. We're going to the top, by the way. That is our Have ship. Fun. And we get the bonfire, and we will be ready for the next area. Um, if you want to get the special ending, you do want to go this way first because um, we're going to level up too. Because uh, you're going to meet, uh, what what's her name, Henri and her buddy, down this that down that path after that boss because um if if you go the other way and kill the the watchers you will not be able to get the secret ending without killing the deacons of the dead and getting Henri's uh 
um, whatever, her talk, <laughs> her whatever, I can't even think right now, too much fucking whiskey already, that was ridiculous, we died like a hundred times, and yeah, anyways, um, let's level up. What should we do? What should we do? Let's do endurance because we're doing a high quality weapon here. Oh, and faith because we do want to get that heal just in case. Farewell, I should make. So now we have quite some good stamina and yeah. Anyways, I'm KCOG. This is my buddy Kron and we're going to see you on the next one because we're going to do a lot more PvP as we go through and I'm terribly sorry we missed out on that video earlier. I'll go around and show you where all the items are and shit, but yep, shit happens. Alright, uh, peace out, y'all.